It's difficult to imagine, in today's social environment, the separation that people in pioneer times experienced. As people moved west, there were great distances between families and friends. Friendship quilts were made as practical going away gifts and reminders of time spent together. A modern take on the friendship quilt is a wire quilt sculpture. These examples are made with wire, string, and beads. Each square contains a unique design. It's a collaborative project that students, friends, families, and many different groups can enjoy creating together. Let me show you some ideas for making it successful with just about any age or skill level. I have a ceramic square with a little bit of a thick edge to it. I'm going to use this to make a consistent square. You could also use a block of wood or a sturdy box. Now younger students can choose to use soft aluminum wire. It's very pliable and easy to work with. I'm choosing something just a little bit sturdier. This is a steel wire that has been heated in a process called annealing that makes it very strong. It's still easy to work with. You can see that I can form it with my hands. But in order to get a tight corner, I will use a small pair of pliers. Now the ends could be joined together by bending them, by wrapping it with a piece of electrical tape, or what I'd like to do is tie them together with a little piece of black string. Actually, I'm using a wax thread here today. This is very, very easy to work with because it likes to stick to itself. Now this square could be considered a blank canvas. It's open to endless design possibilities. Some of the designs I have here incorporate copper wire and colorful jewelry wire. If I secure the end to one side of the square by wrapping, stretch it across the square, and secure it the other side also by wrapping, I can start my design a line at a time. Once again, pliers are helpful for bending and for pressing down those pesky little edges that can be very sharp. Let's wrap another wire going the opposite direction. And you can see we've got the start of a very simple, basic design. Another way to create a square is to make a shape first. Now, I've created a star out of soft, pliable aluminum wire. It fits right inside the square. In order to secure it to the edges, I could use a little more wire, or as I've started to do here, just tie it on with a little more wax thread. Wire form is a mesh that is available in a variety of colors and styles. I would recommend using this with older artists because it sometimes produces sharp, exposed edges. It can be stretched and wrapped around the frame, as I'm doing here or it could be suspended in the middle of the square as well. I like to use this as a weaving surface for other wires. Now along with the wire, incorporating some beads can be a nice touch and add some emphasis to the design. You know, wire is an amazing art medium. It can be bent to form a variety of lines, shapes, letters, and images. You can mimic traditional quilt patterns with it or just be completely freeform. And if you're working with younger artists, don't worry. Try using colorful twisty wires. These plastic coated wires are very, very easy and very safe to work with. And fuzzy craft stems are always a great option too. The squares can be tied together to begin a quilt or just enjoyed as individual pieces of wire art. You can find these materials at dickblick.com and if you keyword wire quilt, you'll find a free PDF of this project with lots of examples for inspiration.
happy quilting.